we have a wonderful planet every day this wonderful planet is being polluted by human activity such as trash or runoff products by factories one of the greatest problems that the world is facing today is that of environmental pollution air pollution water pollution and land pollution are the three major forms of environmental pollution a polluted environment is a polluted society one we created and one only we can renew this has been a global concern today how we can protect our environment and reduce the pollution of the environment so more people in the world has taken initiatives through three r concepts reduce reuse and recycle good evening everyone this is jasmine from real life tv today we have a very uh, special topic to discuss it is about uh, recycling and today we are celebrating global recycling day 2021 so the theme is uh, recognizing the recycling as an essential industry so we have invited a very special person to discuss about this topic today he is none other than uh, mr hasan kapadukta the uh, co-founder of turu and uh, zero cash so he has uh, initiated many uh supportive uh, programs and procedures to collecting uh plastics and involving recycling that is his main suitability that we have invited him to today's program to discuss about uh, the topic of recycling as an essential to the industry especially in these days because most of the people are used to plastic and polythene and non biodegradable materials so we have to protect our environment and also not only for our selves thinking about our future generations as well so that is why we want to take this topic and give more awareness to you and recognizing recycling as an essential industry so i welcome you uh, hasankar hi jasmine thanks for the invitation and it's a very timely initiative yes so just wanted to give you a um, brief uh, introduction and also kind of a concept uh, of recycling just can you give brief the concept of recycling okay jasmine so uh, more or less when it comes to recycling the word which we which will appear even everyone's mind is plastic but it will not only limited for plastic it will cut a, go cut across around aluminium different uh, iron uh then uh, cardboard paper glass uh other sort of uh, materials recycling industry uh has has spread across uh, in, in many more sectors so it's not about re- when it's some recycling it's not about plastic it's about many more r- recyclable compatible materials so in terms of recycling what we believe and what we anticipate is circu- run the circular economy concept when you extract minerals when you extract resources we need to continue it uh, multiple times consume it multiple times as packaging materials uh, and and try to support the sustainability so when the population grows in 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 heavy number so then the production needs to increase and then the packaging the marketing everything comes and plays a wide role so why uh, the, the, then there's a issue comes in the pollution the term pollution uh, so uh, we need to focus on recycling we need to focus on reducing we need to focus on reusing so all three perspectives are bind together whatever things we can reduce whatever things we can reuse yes we have to do same time whatever the things we can't re- uh, uh, like uh, reuse or reduce 
has to use multiple times. That's where the term recycle comes in. I think these three R concepts is very vital for the uh, children's uh, to the, at their school education. They should uh, go through these uh, kind of concepts and get into their life. Then only the, when they grow up, they know what to do in their day-to-day -day activities and how to produce, uh, reuse, and recycle. And uh, I think that there's a, a kind of a, some some people have this contradiction whether this is truly beneficial for saving the environment. Uh, just to answer this question, is recycling is truly uh, beneficial for the environment? Uh, so, Jasmine, different people, different uh, bodies, uh, organizations, environmentalists to uh, manufacturers have different uh, ideology. Uh, the ideology which I have is like, uh, there are things we can do, there are things we can't do. So, in this current world, uh, different items are being used uh, like as packaging materials. So, uh, certain packaging materials degradable, certain packages non-degradable. So in terms of degradable or non-degradable packaging materials, we either we need to uh, same as reduce or reuse or reuse or then recycle. So recycling has its own positive and negative uh, effects. Effects. For an example, when you do recycling, it will it will definitely support the environment. I will tell you how uh, how does it support the environment. Uh, in terms of recycling, when you do recycling, you, are, you will practice the reuse concept. Like you, you will not try to uh, extract more resources from the environment. So that's number one. When you, when you can't do recycling, then you have to go for virgin materials and abstract as much as virgin materials from the uh, environment. That is not a good start. And the other one would be it will reduce the air pollution. It will reduce the, uh, the the water pollution because when you see certain things are going on waterways and when we people burning certain stuff, air pollution and water pollution is happening. So when you do recycling, for a some extent it will reduce. And the other one would be it will reduce the tents for the landfills. Now Sri Lanka we have three hundred uh, I would say uh, three hundred plus open landfills. So when you have landfills, when you don't do recycling, whatever the stuff you can't, whatever stuff, it will go straight away, go and end up at landfill. But when you do recycling, you can uh, like control the pressure for landfills. So, and the other one would be as industry recycling has created more uh, uh, job opportunities uh, and created an ecosystem. So in terms of that, those are the positive perspective, but there are negative perspectives. When you do recycling, you absorb more energy. When you do recycling, it will, it will, it will, uh, as an output, as a byproduct, there may be certain toxic product goes out. And when you do recycling, you have to, uh, the water got uh, like polluted. So then you have to treat that water. In terms of burning process, there are toxic uh, uh, air goes out. So when you do, even though you say recycling, you have to do it on within the parameters. If, 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 even though you said recycling, if you do something uh, which harm the environment and if you try to like, uh, uh, in, in terms of uh, externalities, if you can't control the externalities and properly dispose the garbage, so that will be something, uh, uh, a catastrophe, uh, uh, another pain for the environment. So it will go hand in hand. You have to do recycling, but within the control limits. There needs to be a proper uh, control in terms of what can be done, what can't be done, and how do we adapt and mitigate the effects uh, and outcomes while doing recycling. And the other questions come with this, uh, the answer to this previous question. So again, the, the, the question is uh, coming up with this, whether recycling actually save the energy or whether it's consume more energy. Jasmine, uh, I would say, yeah, in terms of energy, I would say it's not only the electricity, but also the other sort of uh, resources. For an example, money, for an example, labor works, and other sort of tangible and intangible uh, environmental resources. So when you, when you can't recycle stuff, it will go and end up either in landfills, either in waterways, or 
uh, people burn those things. So then definitely air pollution comes in uh, and then uh, people get sick and then there are multiple ways of side effects and uh, issues comes in. If you can uh, treat that thing in the beginning, like when you have a, a recyclable material, if you can recycle it and then it will save all the energy all the all the other sort of all the other uh, all the aspects energy which by the prevention you can save energy from that and the other one would be that is correct the, you don't want to worry, worry about the corrections because now you have uh, you, now you have done a correction but if you can't do this correction then it will it will like for an example if you can't uh, recycle one particular item right now with the cost of Two dollars or less than three dollars, but it will end up in uh, uh, by affecting multiple dollars after one month or six months. Sometimes these things are irreversible. So, and the other component would be if you don't do recycling, uh, as I initially said, people try to absorb more resources from the uh, the environment. So, it it will need more energy for that. And last but not least. If you don't do uh, recycling now itself, for an example, let's say yogurt cup. When if you can't, if you don't wash recycle, uh, you wash the re cup itself. Like when you consume it after consuming, if you can't wash it, when it comes to recycling, it will absorb uh, more energy to wash the, uh, the 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 empty cup because uh, the the remainings would be like a glue. So that is there again in terms of energy consumption. It will reduce the energy consumption while also it will have it will also acquire much more energy to do recycling. So when it comes to recycling, both plus points and negative points has to be exposed. I think the main responsibility is the users. You know, they have to uh, be mindful when they are using whatever the non-biodegradable materials and whether they uh, put into the recycling process properly. And then it will actually help for the environment and for the recycling process, right? So, and uh, when it's come to our country, the situation, so how, how it's, uh, what are the options available in our country for recycling? So, uh, Sri Lanka, now the recycling, I think uh, I, I might not be the right person to talk about recycling because I wear the hat of recyclable item collector. But, Jasmine, I have seen for the last few years, we are growing in that domain. Uh, now we have technology, we have an organizations which will convert the plastic bottle links to a yarn and do and so export it to multiple countries in Sri Lanka. So in terms of glass, there's a company which we, there's, we have one, I think one big company which will do re glass recycling 24 hours nonstop and it will produce three types of glass bottles for the consumption. And we have cardboard, we have other sort of company who are working on beer cans, Everything is there. So now we have the ecosystem. Only thing is what, uh, what, what the issue is like, how do we reduce the cost? How do we reduce the collection cost and how do we reduce the recycling cost? And then how many times we can re reuse it? So these are the things we need to focus on. But more or less, Sri Lanka, I think in terms of waste management policies, uh, and uh, in terms of EPR, extended producer responsibility, there is a greater focus on recycling. They also they have they have another greater focus on three aligning into three year, reducing and reusing, and also now re recycling also would be option. But recycling would be the final step. It's not it will not it doesn't has to come on the number one. That's where we will make a mistake. We think recycling would be the option number one. No, reducing reusing would be the option number. One. One and the two. Recycling would be the option number three. So we need to have that flow. If not, then things will not be on fine. Uh, it will go on, on the right way. So whatever things we can't recycle, whatever, whatever things we can recycle, let's do recycling. But whatever the things we can't control, then we need to go on landfill and uh, uh, dispose in those in, a, in, in the proper manner. So, so there's a, another concept called upcycle upcycle uh, whatever the products that we cannot recycle so people use it for other multiple purposes like upcycling so do you think that is also going to be another solution for this of course that would be a solution but in terms of scale in terms of waste generation in terms of, of, of the capacities 
so upcycling would be an ideal uh, solution but we need to figure it out the volumes but so that's where we need more volumes capable capacity in terms of uh, waste uh, waste recycling process in terms of plastic i know there's a, a leading company in sri lanka which co collect more than 250 tons of plastic per month and do recycling and 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 glass same as that or oh, uh, more than that so as an industry, we, we, we are there. There are more uh, like uh, value chain job opportunities. Uh, so we are going there, but little by little. I think uh, by 2025 or by, by 2030, Sri Lanka would be in the, uh, the right end. And the government organizations, provincial councils and other local bodies, authorities also now focusing on uh, on, on collections and then recycling. For an example, composting, uh, things are going on. So there are much more uh, positive uh, outcomes happening in Sri Lanka. Uh, let's wait and see. Uh, and, and we as consumers, we, uh, we need to do our part. Uh, that's, that's what in terms of making the Sri Lankans recycling industry, we need to do our part. Else uh, it will be very difficult. As you correctly said, as uh, we as social entrepreneurs like you and uh, there are some people who are in, uh, involved in this kind of recycling uh, process. So NGOs, government, they are taking many initiatives to do this uh, recycling. But the main responsibility is based on the consumers, right? So wh what is your recommendation? What, what are the uh, uh, things that you can tell them as a do's and don'ts? to help support this uh, recycling process? So uh, I, will, uh, I will answer it out on um, uh, like a flow, like what we can do on customer end, what we can do as corporates, what we can do as government. So in terms of uh, consumers, the end user, of course, we can remove the, uh, the label. We can uh, re remove, remove the whatever the solid or liquid waste in the bottles or containers or any other stuff, we can definitely sort and we can responsibility if we can hand over the separated items to the right place or the right person or, or the right bin. I think that's it we need to do. And then uh, as uh, organizations, uh, as uh, companies, we, we need to think on our marketing strategies and we need to focus on product design especially. Everything starts with a decision, which is uh, what is the suitable packaging material. So whether you go for polythene, plastic, or degradable, non-degradable, that's a, that's a decision. So we need to focus on that. If you can't take that decision, if, if the business model support, if you if you can't go on that due to health reasons, food safety, or other stuff, you need to figure it out. How do you uh, uh, collect all the uh, whatever the material? I don't specially go and focus on plastic, but other materials you have to think on after after the consumption what would be happening to the particular material or the particular item so you need to focus on post sales scenarios and then analyze and start collection on that either then either as a corporate you have to follow the voluntary extended producer responsibility thing epr voluntary move so and then in terms of refinancing the collection cost refinancing the recycling cost you need to figure it out so these are the things we uh, we can as a corporate we can do we uh, produce more, much more environmental trend products and then uh, and promote recycling or reduce or reuse. And then as a government, I am sure the government, including Sri Lanka and all the governments in the world need to focus on uh, uplifting uh, policies uh, and, and regulations to make sure it is compatible for the circular economy thing. Sometimes you have to encourage certain uh, things, certain activities uh, for an example, by manufacturing degradable sort of items, you have to incentivize and you have to give uh, penalties. That might be, be a tax, that might be uh, uh, in uh, like uh, other sort of uh, that model. There's an EPR model that has to be in and then maintain the, uh, the, the discipline. So, uh, ensuring the provisions has to be in the legal system and then the coordination. And you have to and proper waste management coordination and encourage recyclers, uh, give benefits to encourage those people on that. Uh, as an industry, how we grow the uh, recycling. So corporates now don't work isolatedly. They got they flock together 
they try to uh, work as an industry in Sri Lanka. For an example, there are multiple industries, uh, players uh, got together, try to figure it out a collective action to, uh, to, to, to minimize the environmental impact. So it's completely a, uh, a completely their, their own decision, but as responsible corporates, we always encourage reuse, uh, reusing, reducing uh, as number one and the number two. Uh, if you can't do anything, recycling would be the number three. So we don't want to mess with the word when you have recycling, you can't do everything. But if uh, as much as you are recyclable compatible, I would use and I will repeat the word. You, uh, your product, at least your product needs to be recyclable compatible. If not, you have, whenever products you use, if it is recyclable compatible, there is a hope. If you don't have that thing, I think, I think just mean uh, that will cause much more greater issues. So I think this is, there's another opportunity for the uh, upcoming entrepreneurs. Look at these uh, problems and the gaps in the recycling and how to optimize uh, the recycling process without uh, consuming more energy, consuming or any other more resources and utilizing it uh, for a better amount for recycling process and uh, support the sustainability of the country. So I think uh, we are running out of time <laughs> and uh, we have today Hasanka Fadukta, the co-founder of Turua and uh, Siro Tash. So he's a very well, uh, uh, kind of uh, interested person in recycling. <laughs> that is his main suitability uh, to discuss this topic today. So what is your final message to, the, uh, uh, to celebrate this uh, Global Recycling Day? What is your final message? Uh, Jasmine, uh, my final message would be uh, like, when you see more trash piled uh, uh, in your roadsides, uh, that because of, uh, it's not only the, in, like, like the corporates or the consumers uh, or the government. Uh, so we need to take rational decisions. So all the three pillars has to focus and pay respect on saving environment. Uh, we can't accuse anyone along because we need to uh, have a more holistic view uh, and support uh, 3R concept uh, to like uh, to mitigate the environmental issues because as always, we don't have planet, planet B. So it'll, it, we can't do it on day one, year one or five years. It will be a a uh, few years program, we need to have a plan. We need to see uh, how individually, what are the things we consume and how good we will have, we will convert those into either recyclable um, packing materials or a degradable materials. So it's a long process, but we have to, we can't uh, like, we can't let it go. We have to struggle and we have to figure it out the right way, the right tone, the right pattern. Uh, so that's my message. So it's not uh, one individual, categories or, 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 or teams work, it's a collective thing. It has to come through the government. It has to come through the producers. Also, it has to come through the consumers end. So if all three of these are aligned, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure whatever the things we do will be, we, we will give more greater uh, positive spillovers to environment. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Uh... Hasanka joining with Real Life TV to discuss this interesting topic, uh, recognizing recycling as an essential industry. So we need this kind of initiatives and we kind of um, uh, awareness for everyone to have a better place to live in because we don't have another planet. <laughs> we have to save our planet. It is end of the uh, Global Recycling Day 2020. So we are happy that uh, you have shared your tacit knowledge and uh, give the message to everyone to have this concept, 3R concept, reduce, uh, reuse, and recycle. So thank you very much, Hasanka. We will meet up another, another day with another topic. Until then, stay safe and save the environment and uh, have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah.